Hey, so I know you've all been waiting for this video to come for a long time now, and a bunch of you have subscribed just waiting for it, and so here it is, uh, the LED cube part two, and this is where we left off, where the LED cube was just built and hooked up to the dual Milanove, and so now what we're going to do in this episode is uh, make a standalone Arduino, hook it up to the LED cube, and make a case for it out of acrylic. So at first I had it hooked up to this Dewey Milanove and um, you know I want to be able to use the Dewey Milanove for other things so I have this standalone Arduino that I made and I'm going to hook it up to that or the LED cube or whatever. It's just a lot better. It's pretty fun to make too. So I'm going to go ahead and put my board in a vise and then install the 5 volt regulator. Now that the power supply is finished, I'm going to start working on the brains of the operation, which is the IC, the actual chip itself. And so I'm going to start by soldering in an IC socket, which allows for easy removal of the chip in case, like, I don't know, I reprogram it or something. Because soldering takes a while, and desoldering is horrible. That's what it should look like. So now you got to install the rest of your components, and this will take a while, and... I'm not going to show every single solder joint, so I'll just fast forward through the whole thing. Um, pretty much the basic thing you want to make sure you do here is put every piece in the right place because um, otherwise, you know, your circuit won't work. And if you just double check everything, every couple of solder joints, it'll make your life a whole lot easier because this takes quite a bit of time. So now we're going to go ahead and attach the LED cube to the Borduino. And the way we're going to do this is instead of plugging it into the Arduino board, we're going to actually solder it pin to pin on the uh, new standalone Arduino. And the only thing about this is just make sure you're, you know, soldering the right wire to the right pin on the chip because um, otherwise it'll throw you off. And uh, just, you could probably refer to a pinout of the um, 18 mega chip, whichever one you have, to see. It's actually uh, pretty cool looking afterwards with all the wires. And yes, it's finally done! Now, I made the mistake of cutting my wires too short when I was making the actual cube, so that looks like the Leaning Tower of Cubes. -a. So uh, here we go, let me test and verify that this works. Oh, and it does! Dude, I am so happy right now, you don't even know. However, building the cube itself isn't just half the battle because it can easily get sat on. So I'm going to make an acrylic case. I have this giant piece of acrylic and I just marked it with a pencil and I'm scoring it a bunch of times with a knife because there's no real way to cut through acrylic if you're a DIYer. So you just score through it a bunch of times with a knife and then just, you know, snap it and it'll create like a nice cut along the score. So I've scored through it about 15 times. I'm going to try and snap it by clamping it between a piece of wood and my wood desk. Now this is my first time doing this, so don't judge, but oh, there we go. That's how it's done. And that's a pretty good looking piece, if I do say so myself, which I do. So I'll take a short break from uh, cutting acrylic to uh, show you these standoffs that I got for my LED cube. And I think it'll just make the uh, whole assembly look a bit better. 
So now I'm going to get back to measuring, scoring, and cutting the acrylic. The thing about it is, like, it's so strong and everything, but it's just really hard to work with. So, um, you might want to just get a project box or, like, I don't know, just put your whole thing in a Tupperware or something. Because it'll save you a lot of time, but, you know, this will be cool. If I ever finish. So now I'm going to drill holes in the bottom piece of the acrylic for uh, the standoff screws. And um, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Just, you know, drill. It's not that hard. So now I have all my acrylic pieces cut and drilled. I'm going to uh, use, well, instead of using an adhesive like liquid nails to stick them together, I'm going to use double-sided foam tape because I don't want to run to the store and get some more nickel liquid nails or super glue because I'm out right now and I'm really impatient so um yeah that's what I got so now I'm peeling off the uh adhesive backing from this big oh that's a beautiful piece of acrylic uh sorry to uh it just exposes it because I was just like a protective layer or something and it's really amazing it's not really something that I want to scratch And take a look at that. That is just, whoa. That's just amazing. It's nice and clean cut. It's pretty good. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, measure out some pieces of the double-sided foam tape and put them on and kind of just build my my box around the cube, which, I'll, which I'm putting on. Um, I'm gonna hope that my measurements were good and sound because otherwise that's a waste of a perfectly good piece of acrylic and it looks like it's pretty good so far so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this up now that it's done it actually looks really good as a recap it was pretty much just uh, the LED cube that I found on Instructables by uh, Gzip this guy who wrote the Instructable and the Hackduino which was a standalone Arduino uh, I forgot the dude's name, but I'll post a link in the description of this video. And so I kind of just compiled them both together and put them in an acrylic box, and it looks pretty, pretty snazzy. It's actually really cool, so I'm going to go ahead and test it out now and see how it works. Alright, uh, now the lights are off, and it's on, and it actually is working, and it looks really good. So anyway, thanks for staying with me thus far and watching this super long video. Um, I hope you go out and make your own Arduino LED cube and then take it a step further and make a Hackduino. Or if you just want to make a Hackduino and use it for another project, feel free to do that. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Sorry for the wait for the uh, part two because probably got irritated. Um, links to the instructables are in the description for more further details. I suggest you go to those websites 